This video is intended for adult collectors only. Hi everybody, it's Nadi. Welcome back to my channel and or welcome to my channel, I guess, if this is your first time watching me. I do a lot of doll related content and in this video here, we are on our last beautiful doll for Rainbow High series <laughs> series 6. I have opened up every single doll and I'm still like, series 6? I don't know, maybe series 4? Huh? We'll see. Um, but yes, we already opened up all the other girls. We did it in a rainbow order. So of course, the only beautiful, beautiful doll that we have left here is Lila Yamamoto. So here she is. Beautiful, wonderful, glorious. Um, she has the purple kind of indigo back to like pink-ish. Mm. I don't know what color accuracy is it, but more of that indigo to pink kind of thing that she has going on her packaging. It says, let your true colors shine. Her name right here. It says YouTube, and we have the order of the dollies on the bottom. She has her cute little second outfit out here. All right, if we take a closer look at the side of her box, she is a visual art focus. It says her name here. Super cute. And then the back is the same as all the other ones. So let's just go ahead and get this girl right out of this packaging. Before um, getting into the doll, here is her stand that she comes with. It's super cute. I love this color. I love the silver in it as well. I love that the other girls have more of a gold while she has the darker ones, like the darker colors, have more of a silver kind of glitter to it. Here she has a waist hugger and we have instructions because she comes, as you saw, with a second pair of legs. I low-key hate this. They're just so hard to put on. This is a beautiful Lila Yamamoto. She looks so f***ing beautiful. Oh. I gotta be careful with my language, guys. <clears throat> she looks so freaking beautiful. Like, I love everything about her. I love the silver accent pieces. I love the different tones of purple that they're using here. I'm guessing she's like a lavender doll. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. This just looks like lavender to me, but then her hair is a little bit different. And girl, the shoes. Ugh, she's so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. Let's stop here and just take an overall look at the hair first and then we'll go to the face and you know you know you know also what do you like about the process do you guys think it's good do you guys like how i do the step by step let me know i would appreciate the feedback um a closer look here at her hair that's the first thing i'm gonna cover her hair is all up in these cute little knots um it looks like it's braided and then like put into little buns this is the back you can see how we get these little balls of braids and how they kind of swift the 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 ends of the hair tightly behind her head which is so nice because it looks so clean but her hair it's like there's i don't know it looks like silver in there i don't know it kind of looks like a warm silver though and um i just see that purple that's all i see i just see two colors am i wrong is there more than just two colors? I just see the gray and the purple. Is purple? Yeah, I'm gonna say purple girl. I don't know. You know there's you know it's a different it's a specific tone. The only purples I know is violet, lavender, and just purple, okay? Oh, and mauve. Focusing back on her face, we see these cute little short Oh my god, girl. We see these cute little short like bangs that are supposed to there's I don't know they're like they're just so extra on the curl like on the side here do you see the volume I love these bangs I love how they're parted and they're supposed to like frame her face right um kind of I don't think so it's it's so cute it's so hard too like I don't even know if I want to wash her hair I don't think I'm gonna guys because this hair is so beautiful but these bangs these bangs are in everything okay I love this. I love these updos and I'm pretty sure that her hair is longer. I don't know what her rooting is going to look like, 
I don't know I haven't really seen other people's reviews on this doll because I really tried not to because you know I want to have my first impressions before I start looking at other dolls um but it looks really nice it looks like it's all she has like a parting straight in the middle here so that's cool and then on the side she has these really cute ribbons but yeah that's her hair so cute what do you guys think about these updos that these dolls that this doll came with i feel for me we need to see more of that um we need to see more of that i'm so tired of dolls with long ass hair and just straight boring hair i need something you know it, m more than that and i get it that these having that kind of long hair allows you know users not users consumers collectors people that play with these dolls children that play with these dolls to kind of create their own styles and restyles and I love that too but also I'm tired sometimes girl I'm tired I'm tired and if I can just have something like this where I don't really have to think about these hairstyles like how we get with lol omg then maybe it'd be a better world I don't know what are your opinions on that let me know all right, so let's go ahead and get into this beautiful, beautiful mug. Her makeup is probably one of my favorites. It's just so cute. I love kind of like the pinkish shadow. And then we have like this lavender kind of liner slashed out. This is different. Like she got that line lining makeup so well. You can see it better on this side because her other side is kind of covered by the bang but I love the lavender graphic liner here and then we have a little bit of glitter right on top and then she has these really cute eyebrows um, they're not long they're very unique to her I love it so much I forget what these are type of eyebrows are called but We've all seen them. We all know what we're talking about. I actually used to have eyebrows like that too. Because when I, I used to um, shave my eyebrows or, or mess around with my eyebrows so many so many years ago. Kind of still do. And, you know, it helps you create better shapes. But in this case, her intention is to keep it short because that's the type of eyebrow. And it's crazy that I'm talking so much about these eyebrows. But, like, that's how good of an idea they are. Like, that's how, that's how much it's really good. In my opinion and then she has a lot of stickers on her face I'm getting again decor of kind of fashion um, inspiration street uh, Japanese street fashion with her and stuff like that I love her eye color I'm going to say that they are contacts because I feel like she would be that dedicated to the craft okay I love her lips they're just so glittery and I love the ombre effect that's going on by being a little bit more colorful and potent at the bottom slowly fading but we still have like that gloss like the glitter on her lips they look voluptuous babe and they look good on you and then we have a slight blushing but we have it a little bit more centered towards the front of her cheeks um we have it showing a little bit better on this side here and on this side you can rarely see it but i'm going to assume that this is the real intention a little bit more to the front i've noticed that sometimes the blush can be a little like <laughs> where does it go where does it go <laughs> but i do feel like it was entitled a little or entitled it was meant to be a little bit more in the front which i love i love that and lastly of course she has this cute band-aid on her with a little heart shape in the middle just to complete the final look we can see her earrings a little bit better on this side what flower is that? Is that like a cherry blossom? It just looks like different, a, a type of blossom. Um, I don't know if it's exactly a cherry blossom. I definitely could be very much incorrect. But it's, it looks like a type of blossom. And I love them. They're so cute. They have like this darker pink in the inside. And then it has like this gray tone, right? Like a circle. And then we have more of like a... Oh, and then we have like this baby pink. Again, maybe like a lavender... Um, a light violet I don't know um, just the main color of this blossom and then we have these chains dangling and obviously this one says H we have an H little pendant and then we have this cute little pearl right here a white little pearl I'm assuming it's supposed to be a pearl and I'm gonna also assume this has an R on this side 
yep it does it's so cute i love this because i can actually visually see the reality of how it looks like like if this were real glasses with a chain and the pendants and everything it would look so fucking, oh it would look so cute in my opinion i think it would oh my god i totally forgot to talk about her or give her an introduction so uh, Lila Yamamoto majors in visual arts at Rainbow High. She's a fashion icon from Tokyo, Japan, whose style is inspired by her multicultural roots. Her dad is Japanese and her mom is Chinese. She shows up in Rainbow Vision ready to make her mark. If you look closely at her Rainbow Vision stage, or if you look closely at the Rainbow Vision stage, you will see Lila's artistry that she brings in every project she does. So... Um, her preferred style is cutesy and eccentric. Um, she has, in, she takes inspiration from both her Chinese and Japanese heritage. So now that we know that she has like a mix of Japanese and Chinese heritage and she uses both to really inspire her clothing, um, this top here is what is called a handbok and it's a nice, I guess the lilac color that I'm kind of using some information here I guess the appropriate her appropriate color Lila lilac girl it took me a minute but guess what here we are right now so she has a handbook um, and it has just a lot of silver detail as you can see here it says rainbow high everywhere on this pattern all the way down the sleeves and then she has a lot of metal or like silver accents all the way around Sorry, I had to bring her a little bit closer just so you can really see this top. She has lilac on, like, little strips of lilac here on the sleeves. And then she has the handbook here. And then she has, like, um, this is the handbook, but it crosses over from one side to the next. And then right here she has some extra fabric as, like, a collar. So that's pretty cool. And then it ends right right at just above the waist and it cuts off a little bit shorter on the sleeves um, than all the way down to her wrists and then on her hands on her cute little hands here's a little bit of a closer look at her fingerless gloves it looks like it's made out of, out of some pleather some black pleather and then we have the same reoccurring lilac color with these little ribbon strips and a nice silver buckle on one side and then she has these really cute kind of violet or pinkish nails which I think is very adorable I don't know if it really goes it kind of goes with her lipstick but that's about it in my opinion and then here is the other one and it has the same kind of thing going on on that side but yeah that is her handbook or her top and let's go ahead and take it off and see if there's anything underneath. I don't think there will be though. Before moving any further, this is how the back looks like. Pea's kind of attached with the- oh, oh, the bottom comes off and I just noticed. So I just noticed that this belt, I don't know the proper th thing that it's called, but like this thing that was around her waist, this fabric piece that was around her waist. Um, actually comes off and it's separate from the handbook or I don't know if girl let me shut up I'm like I don't know if this whole thing is a handbook like the whole the whole top piece and each piece makes it a handbook you know what I'm saying so this here that was attached to her top and covering her waist um, is actually separate and she has this cute little keychain on one of the belt loops here which is this is so adorable girl that's cute as fuck if we take this off here yep oh, is it longer ah oh, i'm so confused oh my god it i think it's a one piece okay <laughs> so since we can't take the top off her let's just go ahead and get into the skirt so it looks like she has like a pleather leather whatever you want to call it moto style kind of skirt and girl it's a mini skirt because that shit or that skirt be going really above that knee so i'm gonna go ahead and call it like a mini skirt like rainbow rainbow highs version of a mini skirt 
and it is such a cute metallic color like ooh, it's beautiful so I can't confirm because I do obviously do not know this language what um, language this is or what 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 written language this is because she's both Japanese and Chinese so I'm just gonna say that she has some text graphic text on her metallic beautiful metallic skirt here and then she has a bunch of studs all over here on the top and I like the stitching I like how it kind of comes down at a triangle that's really cute and then we have this faux zipper here it looks like the studs go all the way around let's take her out the stand real quick and yeah it looks like it goes all the way around look at this color this color is beautiful so of course it is a little uneven like the studs because you know that's just factory manufacturing that's just what happens but I see the vision baby I see the vision and it's beautiful regardless this skirt gorgeous gorgeous like oh my god beautiful okay so it kind of does look like this one piece it just has mesh on the bottom and it kind of helps bring the top right here this handbag down so it doesn't like rifle up or r like yeah rifle up is that the right word but like come up while you're trying to put on the skirt so i like that they should do that a little bit more on certain tops like that that's a really good hack in my opinion um <laughs> she does have no stitching in the back like that but i don't think it's a big deal but yeah it's all one piece which i think is pretty cool not gonna lie okay so i literally can't take anything off of her without taking off her big ass shoes so let's just go ahead and go over them um beautiful lila is wearing or is it lila it's lila because lila girl lila is wearing these huge platform style crocs and or i guess what are they called they're called clogs these really huge platform clogs um which i'm pretty sure they're supposed to mimic like the the platform balenciaga um crocs or something like that and she has all of these cute little decorations on top she has some spikes and she has like the little handle up front and it's it's sickening babe okay so here's a closer look at one so i guess the handle is actually in the back and it does work this is so cute oh my god her other ones are even more cuter she has like a little smiley face some hearts and more uh lettering which is so cute and the spikes continue but literally because of her i was like I guess I, could sh I should get them. Like, she opened my eyes. And I do think they're a little weird, but I also think they look a little cool. No. So, eat my words. Disgusting. I know. Um, trendy bitch. Follower. I know. But I don't care. This is a side of one of the platform clogs. And then this is the bottom. Cute love it loves it love it love it so much this is so cool like i don't know this is goth as fuck this is probably my favorite thing out of the whole series i love this piece <laughs> like out of everything out of everything y'all i'm taking too long on this but out of everything these are it for me boom period let's move on all right, now we are going to get into the second outfit. Oh, it's upside down. Before we get into the shirt, I'm just going to show you all the inside. Because what the fudge is this? This is... Do you guys see this? This is freaking beautiful. Look at this. Taking a closer look just so you can see the pattern a little bit better. What the fudge? Okay, so before we start, um, Lila's second outfit... Um, she wears a uh, kipiao with cherry blossom detailing. Um, this is, I'm assuming, the top. Oh, kipi. 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 So she is wearing a kipi, and it's a beautiful. Cooper! 
um it's this beautiful lilac color and it has embroidery everywhere she has some ribbon detailing on top here with the stitches of some ribbon like panels on the side and then she has just some stitching here to make it tighter um, or more closer or form fitting and just the embroidery all over this is so beautiful I don't know if I can zoom in it anymore but it's just gorgeous and she has some on the sleeve so cute and then I think on this side too beautiful and then this is um the back here even the back even the back has embroidery which is so nice I love all the I think it's called paneling but I'm not sure I love all the ribbon here around just to kind of form like the the structure of the kipi is just so beautiful okay so this right here is just her bottom skirt let me zoom out a little bit just to show you the length um it's not as long it's quite short it is more of a mesh material we see a lot of glitter on it silver glitter um it is a little bit see-through as you can see here and then we have just some lining here you go some sm short lining underneath um it's like a cotton kind of oh it's santo dios so it's more of a cotton than like a silky kind of material and then she comes with a belt here. I don't have any information on what kind of belt this is, if it's like part of um, another formal or uh, a formal like dress, if it's part of the kipi or something like that. Um, but it is it does Velcro in the back here. And we have these bows, this cute bow in the back and then a nice bow in the front with um, additional additional rope an additional bow made out of rope and then we see those blossom kind of pendants and beads on that bow as well this is how the belt looks like on her you can see from the side here but we have a big bow right slab in the front and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you here just so you can see how that looks like. I love the blossoms, they look so cute. All right, and the last part of her second outfit are these shoes here. These are cold um, Geta shoes. They're black Geta shoes. They, are, they have purple ribbon straps, and then they have cherry blossom detailing everywhere so this is a cherry blossom theme that she has going on we see some right here on top we see some right at the bottom here and this is why she has the second pair of shoes because they are flat and girl these bows were so hard to tie i was here for maybe like 10 minutes just trying to put the shit on and then we see like some cute little detailing i think it's just like an additional bow like what the heck gorgeous okay here is the beautiful Lila Yamamoto in her second outfit but here you can see how both her Chinese and Japanese heritage kind of come together to kind of inspire her outfits and although these pieces look very cute if you are part of the dog community there has also been some controversy not some controversy but some criticism of the doll and the way that she has these pieces put together or displayed or kind of um placed i guess this was of course a little bit a while back when she first was leaked or shown um and had promo pictures and i would definitely look into the doll community to see a little bit more topics about this and personally this is why i think it's very important to be part of a very diverse community um, no matter what your hobbies are in this case dolls but whatever stuff that you're into it's important to be part of a community because it allows you to step outside of like your expectations and your perceptions and like for me who is not you know I'm Mexican American right so Chicana and this culture does not belong to me right so I can't sit here and be like oh 
it's easy for me to look at this and be like, this is so beautiful. I love the mixing it together. This is so gorgeous. But it's a different take seeing it from someone who is part of Chinese and Japanese culture and being like, hey, I actually have some concerns where this might not be appropriate or this might not look well and this is why and this is how I feel about it. And blah, blah, blah. it's nice to, to have that because you're really stepping outside of your own perspective and sometimes you really need to so if you want to know a little bit more about these criticisms and just more of the overall topic that really revolved around her release and just along with the other series six dolls definitely go ahead and look into your doc community i'm sure if you are watching this you're from the doc community and you already had a little bit of <laughs> of that exposure so um but yeah outside of that though i do really think that she is a beautiful doll these pieces maybe separately can be um enjoyed i love that they brought back they bring this i don't know how i feel about this kind of material skirt um it looks really cute on her they did it on karma and they did it on sunny um season series one sunny and then they did it on karma and they just didn't really look good in my opinion but it looks really well on her but just the doll itself i think the face is gorgeous the pieces individually is very beautiful i also love a lot of restyles that they've done of her and they make her look like a mean girl and i love that so much but as far as miss lila goes that is all that we have today um what are your opinions of lila what are your opinions on the criticisms and everything like that um surrounding this doll what have you guys are have any of you already obtained this doll it's been a while so has where was she on your on your radar when series six came out versus when you saw her in person or you actually bought her um yeah, all that below. <laughs> all of that stuff. Um, let's just talk about this. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for today. Thanks everyone for joining me. Until next time. Bye.